Finding Directions After magnetite was accidentally discovered, people soon realized that it not only attracted objects made of iron, but when made into the shape of a needle and floated on water, magnetite always pointed in a north-south direction, creating a kind of a primitive compass. This is how magnetite got an alternate name, that of lodestone or leading stone. Let's try out this little experiment to see if magnet really does lead. Take a bar magnet and mark each of its ends for identification. You can mark them N and S for North and South Pole. Now tie a thread in the middle of the magnet so that it can be suspended from a wooden stand. Hang it from the wooden stand but make sure the magnet can rotate freely. Let it come to rest. Mark two points on the ground to show the position of the ends of the magnet when it came to rest and draw a line joining the two points. This line shows the direction in which the magnet was pointing in its position of rest. Now rotate the magnet in any direction and let it come to rest. Again, mark the position of the two ends in its position of rest. You will find that a freely suspended bar magnet always comes to rest in the north-south direction. You can find the north direction by looking at the rising sun. As the sun always rises from the east, if you stand facing the sun, the north direction would be towards your left. This rough idea about the direction will help you see which side of the magnet is pointing towards the north and which is pointing towards the south. The side that points towards the north is the north pole and the side that points towards the south is the south pole. For centuries, travelers have used this property of magnets to find directions. In olden days, travelers suspended natural magnets with a thread, which they always carried along, to find their way in the ocean and also on land. Years later, this property of magnets was used to make a proper direction-finding device known as the compass. A compass is a small box covered with glass with a magnetic needle pivoted in the center that can spin freely. The magnetic ends of the needle are painted in different colors for identification. The face of the compass has a circular dial printed with directions. When the needle is rotated and comes to rest, it indicates the north-south direction. Thank you.